Good morning and welcome to Polar Plunge 2022. We're here at beautiful Camp Kiwani in Hanson to watch the Polar Plunge. I have one of the event organizers with me, Allison Dillon. Allison, what's going on here today? Yeah, so we have the plunge today. We're here to support the Hanson PTO uh, to raise funds for the Indian Head students. Um, you know, a lot of the funds go to enrichment at the school, whether it be to enhance the curriculum or also to plan, you know, community events like this. So um, we're so happy with the turnout. I, it's freezing today for sure. I think it's our coldest year yet, um, but we have about 45 people ready to plunge. So we're thankful for them all. Allison, just a general discussion, how much approximately does a pole of plunge raise? I know there's a tremendous amount of community people here. There's a tremendous amount of support. I know the fire department and all the town departments have been working very hard for today. And it's a balmy 10 degrees, so how much approximately? I think this year we, um, in just pledges alone, we were over the $10,000 mark, so we were just so ecstatic over that. Um, we also have 27 business sponsors that are here, whether they're volunteering or donating money to the event. That raised about another 4,000, so you know, close to about the $15,000 mark this year. That's awesome, and afterwards, is there something going on with the, with the plungers? Is there an event or? Yep, so the AA is um, hosting the after party. They were one of the sponsors as well, um, so we have a party thereafter to thank the plungers, the volunteers. Um, we have Deb from Meadowbrook catering that, so big shout out to her for that. Um, we're excited, so hopefully it will give them a chance to warm up, maybe uh, have some coffee or a drink of their choice after they jump in the water. Well, as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the sun's out. It's pretty cold down here. We've got another great event. Whitman Hanson Community Access is always on spot to try to put these events on for you so you can see them should you be sitting home. And always watch Whitman Hanson Community Access as they are giving you up-to-date information on everything that goes on in the communities of Whitman and Hanson. And we'll be back with some more interviews very shortly. Polar Plunge 2022 here at uh, beautiful Camp Kiwani. I have three school committee members all from Hanson here. Why are you guys plunging today? Is it something that you do just because we want to be out here in the freezing cold or is it the money or what is it? I think it's a real question is why aren't you doing it today, Bob? But but uh, no, we're, ha we're happy to help the schools uh, with this crazy cold swim. Hillary? Yeah, same. I mean, obviously my husband's also doing it, so there was sort of like a family competition, which is why I also decided to do it. But same with Chris, the you know, impact to the schools and the kids. Yeah. Mike Jones. And same, and for the schools, it's also Hillary's birthday today, so we have nothing else to do today to start it <laughs> off, you know? Well, it's a great day with a cold 10 degrees, and Hillary, happy birthday, and congratulations to all school committee members who are involved today. This is a great event, and we're glad that you're here to do it. Good luck. Let us know how it works out when you come out. I'm here with two Hanson plungers. Gentlemen, why are you plunging? Give us your name and tell us why you're plunging today. It's called Freezing for a Reason. And what's your reason? Here for the kids, raising money for the PTO, and have them, let them have fun. Uh, John Larry, here for the kids, you know, raising money for the PTO. Really good event. They raise a lot of good money, goes to a lot of resources for the schools. What do you think about the temperatures? This is probably our coldest year. Doesn't bother me. No, it's not bad. Not cold enough yet. Not cold enough. Two very brave souls here at Camp Kiwani. Thank you. I'm here with three brave plungers from Hanson. What's your reason for plunging today in this frigid, cold weather? Well, we're here to represent Hanson Youth Cheer. We are a nonprofit organization that has been doing cheerleading since forever. And we're really excited to support our community and the kids and plunge. Amy. Yes, um, I'm here to plunge for the children of Hanson and the school system. Oh, uh, is and this your fun. first year, Amy? Uh, no, actually, this is my third plunge. So it's fun. So after three times, are you coming for the fourth? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Very brave, and Laura's shy. She says, "Don't." She says to me, "Bob, please don't ask me any questions." Laura, why are you plunging? For the children of Hanson. 
three very brave souls on this 10 degree morning. We couldn't ask for more. Thank you, ladies. It's wonderful to have you here today. We're here at the Polar Plunge 2022, and I'm here with the superintendent of schools, Jeff Simonak, and with the assistant superintendent of schools, George Farrow. And I believe this is their second or third year plunging. Guys, why do you do this? It's a frigid, cold day. I know that the plungers are delighted to have the superintendent and the assistant superintendent supporting such a great cause. We're here because uh, it is a great cause. It's about community. It's about kids. And uh, we'll, we'll pretty much do anything for our kids here in, in Whitman Hanson. So. Yeah, it's, it's just a great event. We've been here all three years and um, hope to keep doing it. I don't mind the cold. Yeah. It's for a good cause. It's 10 degrees out here today. You've got to be a brave soul. If you look and see, we have a great community. If you look and see all the people that are here behind these brave plungers. So very shortly, you're going to see everyone jump into the Camp Kiwani cold water. Thank you, gentlemen. I'm here at Camp Kiwani with Frank Malisi. He is the chairman of the Recreation Commission here at Camp Kiwani. Frank, what did it take to get this event going? I know that there's a lot going on with all the snow that's on the ground and stuff. Give the, the viewers a little hint of how much it was to get this thing rocking and rolling. Yeah, well, I mean, the PTO really did a great job. I mean, they, they do this event every year. They put a lot of hard work into it. The fire department from Hanson does a lot of great work for it. Um, you know, here at the Recreation Committee, we're happy to help in any way we possibly can with any town event that we have. Um, you know, we just we just simply plowed it when they asked us to. And, uh, you know, all the caretakers that are here at the camp helped out s significantly. So, um, you know, anything we can do to help the event get going is, is something that we want to do at the, at the Recreation Committee. So. Well, we got here early this morning. I guess the caretaker was here, and there was another gal, and they were opening up, and they were doing a whole bunch, and you have to plow parking lots and get ready for big events like that. And it's great. It's You're a volunteer, correct? Correct. Yep, yep. We're a volunteer, yeah. And, and you know, the caretakers here, um, you know, they do an extraordinary job at, at taking care of the camp and making sure that every event that comes to the camp is, is well thought out and, and, and well prepared for. So... Well, I know you've got a lot of events prepared, and, and it's hard to look forward and say the docks are in the water and we're going to be swimming soon when it's 10 degrees out. But are there any other events that you'd like to discuss or what people should do to maybe be able to get to the events? Yeah, awesome. So we, we have we have a couple of events right now that the Recreation Committee is planning. We have a Winter Wonderland that we're planning. Uh, we have a family camping weekend that we're planning. Uh, we also have um, the Spooktacular that we try to do every Halloween, uh, you know, COVID, COVID, uh, you know, if, if COVID goes away this year hopefully um, but we, we always have events that are planned and if anybody has an event in the PTO or the town that they'd like to bring to the recreation committee and uh, you know they need our assistance with with planning bring it to any recreation committee meeting and we can hopefully get it started that's the whole point of us being here is, is provide recreation for the kids and the citizens of Hanson so well thank you so much for what you do I know that your position is a volunteer position as everything here is today so thank you again thank you very much Bob thank bye bye you. Polar Plunge 22, and we have a brave plunger here who has a GoPro on. What's your reason for plunging today? And I see you have a very big support staff with these two little guys. Yeah, well, that's the main reason. Uh, you know, it's something I've always wanted to do. I get two kids in the school system now, soon to be three. So support the PTO, good cause, something I've always wanted to do. So, well, What do you guys think? Are you having fun out here on this cold day? Yeah. What's your name? Max. And your name? Anthony. And you guys are supporting your dad? Congratulations. Good luck today. Thank you very much. All right. We're here at Camp Kiwani, and we're with the Indian head staff. I believe we have the principal and the assistant principal and the staff from Indian head. Where are all these people? Here we are. You can see us all. We have our signature headbands on, and we're ready to do it for our kids. We are excited. All the Indian Head staff are wearing these headbands. Come look. What a great support group we have here, ladies and gentlemen. We are excited. We are so excited. <laughs> I'm very excited. <laughs> it's for the kids. They're all freezing for a reason, and their reason, ladies and gentlemen, are the children of the Indian Head school system, and they're all here to support. So congratulations to all of you, and it's good to have you. In we're going to see how you feel after you jump into the water.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, this was Pull the Plunge 2022, and you saw it here, brought to you by Whitman Hanson Community Access. We had 45 brave plungers here today in 10 degree weather. As you can see, we have an unbelievable staff of fire, police, and people here. We had a great crowd here today. It was a very successful event that raised a ton of money. Should you like to watch it on Whitman Hanson Community Access in York Towns, Channel 6, Channel 9, Channel 98 the educational channel. Stay tuned for all upcoming events for Whitman Hanson Community Access, and thank you for watching today's Pull the Plunge 2022. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>